if you feel you what no i can't call you bugging i i take this shit back to jersey though seriously because i'm not gonna there's nowhere to park first of all and i'm not gonna struggle i'm not gonna struggle taking all this stuff into the projects not me you, you gotta be you gotta be crazy no month file not working listen i'll take this shit back to jersey so guys it's sunday december 3rd and we back on the grind for yet another month i'm hyped i am hyped about this month because last month oh man we absolutely killed it listen man i'm surprised what we did last month and i'm gonna give you guys the numbers and you gotta stick around i'm gonna give you guys the numbers for november and then i'm gonna let you know how much i intend to make for december Today's the first day I'm going out delivering. And uh, guys, I'm, I want to deliver for the rest of the month. I, I mean, like every single day. I miss two days. I want to deliver for the next 29 days because I have a really big goal that I want to hit that's going to help me achieve a lot of things and pay off a lot of, a lot of debt. And plus, this is the month for Christmas. A lot of gifts got to be given. Guys, we're going to start today off with two two orders from Metrobi. Metrobi seems like my Sunday up because Rody kinda sporadic today, but I still think we could make some money on Rody if I get to finish these orders like really fast. We're heading to Leon and Sons Wine. And uh, this order was given to me via phone call. They called me, the app called me, say, hey, are you able to accommodate this like right now? Cause I was actually heading to Perilandra for an order that's paying $39 and change for one drop off. I was like, yeah, gimme, gimme. I'm just coming off the W2, so it worked perfectly. I was actually looking for a roadie gig to head towards downtown Brooklyn, but I didn't get anything. I said, you know what, man? Let me just take the time and just head there, chill out, no anxiety, no worries. And this order just became a blessing in disguise. It came up as $39, right? But if it was for one stop. They added another stop. I don't know if it's still gonna be $39 or if the price is gonna go up. I am not 100% sure, but either way, either way guys, we are gonna be at $79 and change pretty much before four o'clock, which is absolutely bonkers. So I'm seven minutes away. It was, it's so crazy because an order from Leon and Son's um, wine shop popped up early and I took it and then I got a message saying it was canceled. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? I said, whatever. And then I checked Metrobi again and then the Paralandra order popped up. And I'm like, yeah, that's mine. Thank you very much. $30, $39 in a bag. Appreciate that. And they're doubling it. Like, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. All right, guys, pulled up to the pickup and we're early. I mean, early for last minute edition. And we're gonna be early for the, the original pickup too. So let's go into um, Leon and Son Wine and Spirits over in Fulton, Brooklyn, out in Bed Stuy, baby. I think over here is Bed Stuy. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go in. All right, guys, going in right here. Let's get these items picked up and keep it moving. All right, guys, got everything picked up. I put one box in the car already, and we got this bag, so let's keep it moving, man. Yeah, baby, yeah! I'm hyped, I don't know what it is, though. This work just gets me so hyped up, man. So let's just take a picture. Let's take a picture of the two orders, bam, that they uploaded. I like using this app. You know, you upload what you pick up, they see what's going on, they keep track of you. And at the next stop, let's um let's head there. Next stop, six minutes away, guys. Six minutes away, it's on the way, maybe to Perilandra. So let's get this dropped off. Let's go. Six minutes for the first one, and then the second one, 
and I'll be extra early for Pearl Andres still, which is nuts if you ask me. All right, guys, we at the first drop off, so it's the it's the box. So let me um let's get this delivered. Let's keep it moving. Oh, there's a police car like right in front of me. Crazy. Let's go. All right, guys. So um we didn't get that one dropped off yet because the customer says that they are 10 minutes away from home. Guys, have patience out there, man. It goes a long way. Patience and respect goes a long, long way. So um, I'll see you soon. Like I was saying, guys, it's good to be patient. So the customer just popped up. I waited. He said, thank you for being patient. And he popped me an extra five. All I needed to do was take his um, a picture of his ID and we're good so we're seven minutes away from the next drop off it's currently 2 33 i'm gonna be early oh i can't back up too much there's a freaking bike right behind me but i'm gonna be early to everything all the pickups all the drop offs well knock on wood grain i don't run into no problems but um yeah Let's head to the next drop off. It says seven minutes, now eight, because I gotta go the longer way. But that's cool, man. That is cool, I'm cool with that. So, whatever the artist paying, I'll let you know at the end. I, I honestly don't know, but I'll know in about 10 minutes. And then we'll add the five to it. Even if it's paying 40, guys, it's worth it. And we, get, we got an extra five. So, see you at the next drop off for the smaller, package let's get it baby patience pays off if a customer just mentioned thank you for being patient here you go he had a hassle-free experience that's what I'm here to do listen I might dirty stack and I might multi-app but I provide quality service that's my that's my main goal I provide I take care of people's stuff all right guys we got a second drop off for the liquor and i think it is over here. oh <laughs> just the person i'm looking for all right guys got the order completed and let's go to perilandra it said it's gonna take us 18 minutes yeah we're gonna be there just 17 we're gonna be there just on time guys just on time all right guys about to show up pop up three o'clock on the dot and the parking is heavy over here today man no parking usually empty today nothing nothing i see somebody pulling out though so that's a great thing let me see if i could squeeze in here right now all right they're pulling out i'm squeezing in perfection it's what you call perfection, man. Perfect timing, baby. Hydrant coming in clutch, baby. Let's go. All right. You could only get away with these things on a Sunday, though. And try it out on the weekdays. When them boys are out to get you. All right. And the thing I like about uh, Metrobi, right? Once you show up, they know you're there. The app picks up that you're there. You don't need to swipe or anything. So that's a great, great um, feature. So let me go in. They're going to come and load me up and and um, pause, 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 pause. And we're going to get on the way. Three o'clock. Perfect. All right, guys. So um, we went in there. We got the order picked up. So, sorry I didn't record anything, but I was plugging in the addresses in my um my map and guys tell me why it's only like two boxes literally two boxes you can see one box right there the other one is over there two boxes man wow i'm not complaining i'm not complaining man let's complete pickup and yeah the first drop off is like eight minutes away so Let's actually hit go. 36 minute drive total. Yeah, let's let's hit go. We're gonna head to the first stop, eight minutes away. And then both are, both are buildings, but it's like one box. 
he said it was slow. I was like, when I saw him with the two boxes, I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? I was expecting the hand truck again, but mm -mm. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna take the two boxes and the two little wine orders. We're gonna take those. You see guys, sometimes you're out here busting your ass, man, for that money. Other times, it's easy like Sunday evenings. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here, and I don't know where I'm going. I think this is it. It's 100. Yep. All right, let's go in here. Let's see what they're saying here. <laughs> I'm parked really dirty, but let's see what they're saying, man. Oh, my God. Let's go. All right, guys, that went smooth, and one down, one more to go. We got to run out. Not parked. Good. All right. All right, we got one. Let's go out to the lobby. Let's get out of here. Yeah, baby, let's get it. All right, guys, so the next stop is gonna take us 26 minutes to drop off that one box. Yeah, and I'll be looking for some roadie gigs in the meantime. It's really slow on roadie today, and it's very early. It's only 3.23, and it's hella slow. Which is why it was very important that I took everything that Metro B offered and we're over $80. So, you know, perfect start. I might have to turn on DoorDash and Uber Eats. Instacart. Maybe that's the play. But um, maybe shipped. But I'll let you guys know. Of course I will. Hi, Yeah. Is this open? Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Does this building have elevator? Or just stairs. No, stairs. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Thank you. All right. Fifth so floor for me. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Hi. How are you? All right, guys. So I took an Instacart pan. Let me tell you. Um, we're going to Costco, by the way, and the Instacart is paying us $42.84, one store, two drops, and it's only 13 items. So I was like, yeah, why not? $42.84? The shop should be easy, but the drive to Manhattan might be a little tricky. Might be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for roadie gigs going into that side of Manhattan so I could just pass pick it up and drop it off it might be a long shot but I'm still gonna try so yeah guys that's the update right now I don't know where I'm heading so I'm just gonna make a left right here but we're gonna pass them so yeah we just hit navigate and shouldn't be far away mm, 10 minutes away all right, 10 minutes away, guys. So let's get it, man. Let's keep this thing flowing. So guys, while we head to um, Costco, I did promise that I'll run you the numbers for November. Quite impressive if you ask me, man. Come on, man. Get out the fucking road, man. Idiot. Anyways, so guys, <laughs> DoorDash in November, $163.87 per month, if you ask me, but it's fine. Gas money. Uber Eats, $229.94. Grubhub, $138.64. So in terms of the food delivery apps, we didn't do that great, but it's fine. Shipped. $233.97. I think that's a great first month for shipped. Instacart, $550.89. Oh man, we killed it. That is that is absolutely um nice. That's gorgeous. Metrobi, $355.76. Decent. Impressive if you ask me. Point pickup. $16.84. We only did two orders. And I was so busy making money with the other apps. I didn't need to turn on point pickup. 
Next up, Senpex 3381. One order. Yeah. It sent me a lot of orders, but I'm never in the area. I'm not full time, so I'm not always like available. Rody. Wait, wait, wait. I'll come back to Rody. Freight. Oh man. $551.81 for freight. And these totals are not including any cash tips, guys. I got the tallies all from the app. And last but not least, Rody, $1,000, $1,030.50. For the King app, Rody, we made a total of $3,306.03. Absolute bonkers. That was that, that that that's a crazy month. That's one of my best months, man. And guys, with that being said, added with the W2 money, we made a lot of money in November. But to be honest, I don't know where it went. <laughs> Seriously. I really don't know where it disappeared to. But December goes. December goals. You know what? I'm gonna talk to you about December goals after the Instacart shop and while we're heading to Manhattan. So I'll see. Yeah, keep watching. All right. Let's make this Costco money, baby. Let's get it. Just need some fruity loops. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just bat down. See that? Simple, smooth. All right, guys. Now for the time I dread the most: checkout time. I'm hoping it goes smooth, fast, and then the drop off might be a lot of traffic. Ah. Ah. All right, guys, we cannot go to self-checkout. It's not allowed. We got to go to a manned register. So let's go. Hopefully this moves fast. All right, guys, this is what the checkout process looks like. Might be here for a little while. Yeah. But it's okay. the first drop off is 22 minutes away remember we're going to Manhattan not bad so yeah the only thing about doing an Instacart over here it's really congested and you got to make sure it's worth your time and I think this is worth my time because guys even though it's raining today seems very slow and, and I mean slow roadie is like Rody is not busy all day. And, and I'm like, it should be a little bit more, you know, busier. But um, yeah, it's not. It's not. So I'm, I'm thinking right now to head to Jersey, honestly, and do some orders coming back. But I'm going to wait for the BJ's drop to see if there's anything juicier coming from Jersey back over to the city. Because not many people want to do that especially right now so um i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna play the waiting game and see if i, I wanna you know um make that move because it's all about the play all about the play this is chess not checkers you make a wrong move and you screw up you screw up your whole you could screw up your whole day but you gotta be able to recover sometimes you make a bad move you gotta recover so yeah guys, um, right now, let's head to Manhattan. What the hell, where am I going? Where am I going? Why is the, guys, the map isn't like configuring. Oh man, dummy, dummy. I was supposed to turn like right there and the map didn't like, the map took forever to like figure out where I was at. So I'm gonna just turn right here though. Hate these maps. All right, guys, um, change of plans. It's actually, I'm actually 27 minutes away from the first drop off because I'm not taking the tunnel. <laughs> you crazy? Like, 
I'm not getting paid to freaking go through the tunnel to try to get your groceries fast. I'm gonna take the no tolls bridge. So that's the plan, 26 minutes away. Guys, be smart, man. Only take tolls if you're gonna be reimbursed. So guys, while we stopped at the light, I'm four minutes away from the first Instacart drop-off and I'm, I'm gonna recover. This Instacart took a little longer than I thought it would, but it's fine, man. It's all about position. This Instacart art is positioning us for something bigger. And what I'm talking about is we gotta go over to New Jersey, over to Jersey City, where we're gonna pick up a BJ's order and a Home Depot order each of them $30 so that's a $60 run over to New Jersey so the toll is gonna to be reimbursed of course and $60 is pretty sweet if you ask me. all right guys looking for this freaking address I think it might be over there Damn. loss oh whoa Entrance on Stone Street around the corner. Oh, okay. All right. We're looking for Stone Street. So maybe I could go down. I don't know. Ah. Uh, I'm lost. I think I could go around here. Or maybe I go around the corner. All right, let's go around the corner. Let's go. All right, guys. We on Stone Street. I don't know if this is. Oh man. Where am I going? <laughs> Can't find the address. All right. Oh man. I think I'm on the right path though. But I just can't find the address. 57, I'm looking for 54. Should be on this side. All right, yeah. Ha, I found it. God damn, let's go. I'm not parked too far though, so let's go. All right guys, finally got access to the building. We're going up to the fifth floor. I hope it's on the fifth floor. Thank God there's an elevator to the But yeah, this was this was a struggle though. Finding the freaking building and then getting in. Ate up my time. Oh boy, that's what it is though. Alright guys, so we're on Stone Street and the next drop off is on Wall Street. Three minutes away, so hopefully that one smooth up. Get it, baby. Alright guys, that's where we parked. Now let's go. Alright guys, you see I like to do these, you know. I like to do these to see if I'll do them again. Because right now, I don't know if I'll do another one like this again. <laughs> Unless I want the adventure and it's paying good. But this this is this is rough. To come out and have to like use the cart. Yeah, Manhattan, man. It's a jungle out here. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are here. All right, guys, got that delivered. Now let's head to Jersey City. Let's go. said it's going to take us 33 minutes to get there it's only 4.4 miles so we're not driving a lot of miles it's just taking a very long time because a little traffic so remember the toll there is no toll going into jersey but there's like a 1450 or 1475 toll coming back and we are going to get uh reimbursed for that so i'm not worried about no toll so uh my instacart going off like crazy but no more instacart until later maybe we do another 40 dollar batch uh, uh, an easier one not coming into manhattan though manhattan could be a little rough so yeah guys um see you in jersey city
We're going out of state, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it to New Jersey and I've picked up from here about maybe twice. So let's go. Let's hope it's ready. All right, guys, this, this order right here is torture. I know what I was getting into. I, I know what I signed up for. So, um, we are eight minutes away from the Home Depot. We're gonna head there at 654, and we're gonna get this order scooped up. All right, guys, we're in Home Depot. Park kind of dirty outside. Just wanna be in and out with this order. All right, guys, we got the order picked up. Just two, what are these, blinds? Yep, I think that's what it is. Trim, yeah, so. We got those picked up, put them right over here, get these delivered. It's not the first time I pick these kind of things up, you know, so. So, first drop off. Said it's gonna take us 21 minutes, sweet. Pay a toll, we're right next to the tunnel. So, it's gonna work out. What do I need to turn right here? Yeah, so 20 minutes, guys. All right, guys, the goal's for December, so. I'm gonna give you the final goal at the end of it, but all these numbers tally up to the final number. So, DoDash, $300, which means we have to do a lot better than we did in November. Uber Eats, $350. Grubhub, $200. Shipped, $200. Instacart, $500. Metrobi, $250. We already eat up that Metrobi goal. We already eat it up. Point pickup, $200. That means I have to do a few grocery orders when I drop my wife to work. I gotta put those in and get it popping. Freight, $500. Senpex, $200. And Rody, $2,300. This month is my goal on Rody. Cause I got a, a, a new strategy. Guys, for a grand total of $5,000 for the month of December. Look, anyhow I get it, I get it. If I make only $1,500 on roadie and 1000 on freight or whatever, whatever, I'm with it. You see what I mean? But my goal is to make $500 for the month and I'm $5,000 for the month and I'm going to make it happen for sure. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. So guys, we're about three minutes away from the drop-off and I, I have a feeling this is like going to the projects. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to the projects. <laughs> Remember that projects I delivered to, um, that big $49 order? I have a feeling it's going back right there because anywhere you see like trees and stuff, yeah, it looks like the projects. Yeah. Is it? Let me see. I'll let you know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe just an apartment building. But it's giving me project vibes, you know? Like uptown houses. Something like that. Mm -mm -mm. But I did text the customer. Let him know I'm 15 minutes away, but I didn't get a response. So, we shall see. I'll let you know. Let's wish for the best. Let's wish for a smooth drop off. It's a lot of stuff. Three cases of water. All these like Tide Pods and all, you know, freaking Fabuloso and bleach and, and, and milk. It's a lot of things, man. It's a lot of things. I don't know if we could one trip it. Really don't think so. But guys, I'll let you know, man. The recording is going to be rough. Yep, Chelsea houses. I knew it, man. I knew it. 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 God damn. Ah, done fucked around and take the. Oh, man. I hope they come down to get this shit. Damn, this gonna be a rough one. This gonna be a rough one. 
I'm gonna make a phone call for sure. They're gonna have to come scoop their shits, man. Yeah. They're gonna have to come scoop their shit. Bring all the all that they can because me, I'm not gonna struggle with this all by myself. All right, let's make a call. If you feel you what? No, I can't call. You bugging. I I take this shit back to Jersey though. Seriously. Because I'm not gonna there's nowhere to park, first of all. And I'm not gonna struggle. I'm not gonna struggle taking all this stuff into the projects. Not me. You you gotta be you gotta be crazy. Number one file not working. Listen, I'll take this shit back to Jersey. All right, guys, this is the plan because I'm I'm not going back to Jersey. I can't get on to the customer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the building, ring the bell, get on to them, let them know there's a lot of stuff and they need to come and help get their things because my responsibility is to get them here, not to take it into your freaking apartment. So let's let's do that i'll be back let's approach this from the front here and i have a ideal parking spot so let's get these groceries delivered man this is this is this is this is not good this is not good look look at here look look here this is wild <laughs> oh my god but yeah, let's let's make contact. All right, guys, I attempted to ring the bell. No one would answer. Whoa, stop rats. But anyways, no one would answer. And I called, no one would answer. So yeah, this sucks. This sucks. Got to contact Rody. Yeah. All right, guys, this is a disaster. I'm contacting Rody support right now. I said hello because someone joined the chat. But I, I, I want to start heading towards the second drop off for the um Yeah, let me let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me see. Um Alright guys, so um we're gonna have to go back to New Jersey. I told him that this order is going back to New Jersey and I got to come back to New York. So, you know, what's going on with that? He said, um, yeah, he's going to um, take care of the toll. So just put in for reimbursement for the toll. I'm like, OK, OK, I'm going to save. Matter of fact, I'm going to screenshot this conversation because, you know, when I put in my reimbursement, I don't want to hear nothing. I want my money. So I'm just going to park here right now. Wait, is there a parking spot, a real spot? Let me see if there's a real spot. Yeah, let me park in this real spot. Yeah, let me park in this real spot. Instead of parking in the um, the hydrant. I'm going to deliver the other, the other order. That's what I'm doing right now. You know, get that off my hands. Rody is basically dead right now. So there's like nothing I can do to like come back from Jersey. Oh man, this is tight right here. This is too tight. This spot is too tight. I might have to park at the hydrant. Yeah, I'm gonna park at the hydrant. This is way too tight. Way too tight. won't be long so yeah i didn't want to go back to jersey it's not far it's really not far but i didn't i, I didn't want to go back over there right now so let's get this dropped off and head back to jersey for the return <sighs> so guys this is what it, this is the verdict i contacted support and support was saying I should um, 
return the items. I'm like, okay, I told him it's Jersey. He said, no problem, you get a toll reimbursement, so on and so forth. When he did some further digging, he said, oh, shoots, it's grossy items. You can't return them. So you got to destroy them. So he said he created a return, and I basically only got $20 for the gig, minus the customer tip. So total, I got fifty-one eighteen for the run that we just did. And he said, basically, he created a return, but don't return anything. He just created a return so I could get paid and just destroy the items, destroy them. I got milk, I got all kind of things here. Destroy them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the nearest dumpster and dump them, basically. What would you do in this situation, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know. I gotta dump them. And I asked him, I said, I don't want my roadie account jeopardized because of this, because I don't want to get no call from roadie tomorrow about nothing. You see what I mean? Because I tried. I tried, I have everything documented. I called the customer, I text the customer, I went up to the projects, I rang the freaking apartment number, no one answered. He tried, no one answered. What do you want me to do? I've already spent a lot of time on this gig. I delivered the Home Depot gig. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up my roadie account over this bullshit, you know? So yeah, it's 802. Guys, we're still short. We haven't hit 200 yet. And I might just, let me, let me just run the numbers really quick, guys. Let's run the numbers and then We'll see what, you know, we need to do in order to hit 200 because I got to hit 200 today. All right, guys. So we need basically $22.85 to hit 200. And uh, I'm going to start plotting my way off of this island of Manhattan and, you know, start heading home. First, got to get rid of these. Got to get rid of these. You know what I mean? For sure. Don't forget to tell me what you'll do, guys. Would you keep them? Or would you dump them? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. You're going to be seeing this video maybe a month later. <laughs> a month late or maybe two months. According to how fast I edit. But um, yeah. We need $22 and we're going to make it. Definitely. So guys, see you when we have our next order. I think we did great. We did really good. Maybe I'll do an Instacart for $22. But I don't really want to be all over the place, you know. I want to go towards the house. All right, guys. So I'm almost home. Decided not to do anything else. I did turn on DoDash, Grubhub. And I was looking at shipped orders, Instacart. But when I'm tired, I get a bit lazy and very indecisive. So I was like, you know what, man? Just go home. So, guys, we made a total of $177.15 which is you really really good yeah I know that it's really really good because um we didn't deliver for a very long time we really didn't let's say from 1 30 to about maybe 7 30 maybe maybe that maybe about so let's say we work for six hours today did run into a lot of problems of course don't need to go over that the first for everything but um i think it was a good haul we we fell 22 dollars and 85 cents short of 200 but i'm pretty sure i am pretty sure we're gonna still make 600 dollars for sunday monday and tuesday remember december is gonna be a big month five thousand dollars is the goal and i'm gonna deliver as much as i can whether i'm doing instacart ship grubhub doordash uber eats point pickup metro b roadie you name it man did i forget any app yeah maybe i did but um we're gonna make five thousand dollars this month or we're gonna get close so guys i'm your boy dom this is gigabyte nyc subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video if you haven't yet done so remember this challenge is also called the chase it's like a challenge within a challenge where you know i have to pay off these chase credit cards as well so guys i'm pulling up to the house now so thanks for watching until next time damn it's dark
Peace out. Godspeed. See ya.